In fighting Hamas and the Iranian axis of terror, Israel is fighting the enemies of civilization itself. Israel is fighting the enemies of civilization itself. حامیان رژیم و بعضی از افراد خود رژیم خاصب یا به گویی هایی در این دو سه روز کردن به ادامه داره از جمله این که ایران اسلامی رو پشت این حرکت معرفی میکنن Israel has ramped up its attacks within the Gaza region. Concurrently, Iran consistently warns Israel against undertaking a ground invasion into the Gaza Strip. Iran cautions that the ongoing conflict in Gaza involving Israel and Hamas could potentially escalate into a broader regional war in the Middle East with Iran, a major backer of Hamas, becoming directly involved. Such threats from Iran towards Israel are undeniably grave. But if such a regional conflict were to erupt, a critical question arises. Can Iran launch a direct assault on Israel? Let's delve into this. There are several scenarios in which Iran might resort to direct attacks. However, before any direct confrontation, proxy warfare seems to be the most plausible choice for Iran. Undeniably, Iran has been engaging in this strategy for a considerable time. Within the Middle East, Iran has a network of proxy forces operating in countries like Lebanon, Syria, Iraq, Yemen, Gaza, and Bahrain. Militant groups in these nations receive training, weaponry, and financial support from Iran. Taking the situation in Gaza as an illustration, Iran doesn't conceal its financial and arms support to Hamas. Moreover, Iran's assistance to Hamas continues in the form of intelligence and incitement within networks against Israel, yet Iran consistently denies any responsibility for the attacks carried out by Hamas. Another instance includes the Shia militias in Iraq and Syria responsible for assaults on United States military bases. In these events, the United States accuses Iran of actively facilitating rocket and drone attacks by proxy groups against its forces in Iraq and Syria. Again, such claims have been repeatedly denied by Iran. While it's challenging to ascertain Iran's direct military involvement with rebel groups in the Middle East, politically, Iran indeed backs entities like Hamas, the Hezbollah movement in Lebanon, and Shia factions in Iraq. Nevertheless, Iran staunchly denies accusations of providing military support to these groups. Assuming for a moment that Iran's involvement aligns with the claims made by Israel and the United States, it suggests that Iran's proxy warfare tactics have been successful. Why? Because to date, Iran has endeavored to counter Israel through proxies, establishing Hezbollah in Lebanon, supplying Hamas and other Palestinian groups combating Israel with weapons, missiles and explosives, has produced results. Both Hamas and Hezbollah have inflicted significant damage in Israel without triggering a direct conflict with Iran. Stop, 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 stop. Should proxy warfare fall short of its intended goals, a strategy Iran might consider is launching a direct assault. Since Iran and Israel don't share a border, an aerial strike becomes a viable option. Iran could orchestrate such a strike using kamikaze drones. Within their arsenal, Iran boasts the domestically produced Shaded 136. This ammunition is crafted to target ground-based objectives from a distance and can be fired in significant quantities. The Shaded 136 can achieve speeds greater than 115 miles per hour. Its range is estimated to vary from around 602 miles to roughly 1,553 miles, with a payload ranging between 66 pounds to 110 pounds. Considering that the distance between Iran and Israel is approximately 1,110 miles, theoretically, the Shaded 136 could reach Israel in roughly five hours. But does this Iranian drone have experience in striking critical military assets? The answer is affirmative. The Shaded 136 has been used in the Yemeni civil war and the Russian conflict in Ukraine. 
The United States military also suggests that groups aligned with Iran utilized the Shaded 136 when targeting its bases in Syria. Furthermore, the Shaded 136 has been deployed by the Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps in the Kurdistan region of Iraq. Besides the Shaded 136, Iran could also deploy another kamikaze drone, the Arash 2, which has an attack range of about 1,242 miles. Another option would be Iran's newly launched combat drone in 2023, the Mohajer 10. This sophisticated drone boasts an operational range of approximately 1,242 miles and can remain airborne for 24 hours, flying at speeds of 130 miles per hour at an altitude of about 23,000 feet. The payload of the Mohajer 10 significantly outweighs that of the Shaded 136, coming in at around 661 pounds, double that of the Mohajer 6 drone. Such a heavy payload can decimate large ships or strategic targets with tremendous force. Though, by sheer calculations, these drones could fly from Iran to Israel. In reality, it's challenging for Iranian drones to directly strike Israeli territory. The reason? The United States maintains military bases equipped with robust aerial defense systems, especially in countries like Iraq and Syria. Here, drones would need to navigate territories controlled by the U.S. en route to Israel. In other words, before reaching Israeli skies, Iranian missiles would first have to penetrate the American aerial defense mechanisms. Thus, stealth fighter jets offer an alternative to drones for piercing American defenses. While much of Iran's air fleet consists of older and outdated equipment, they possess a domestically manufactured fighter jet named Kahir 313. This jet is purportedly equipped with fifth-generation stealth technology, making it challenging to be detected by aerial defense systems. Iran has claimed that its Kahir 313 jet can reach top speeds of up to 932 miles per hour, has a range of 1,242 miles, and can fly at altitudes up to 49,213 feet. Moreover, this aircraft can be armed with a variety of Iranian-made air-to-air missiles and precision-guided bombs. However, a potential threat to the Kahir 313 comes from early warning aircraft equipped with AWACS radar systems. Such aircraft aid fighter jets in long-range target tracking and confirmation. Subsequently, BVR missiles using their onboard radars can track and potentially overcome even stealth-class aircraft. Israel has developed the ELW-2090 Early Warning and Air Control Radar System to counter stealth fighter jets that might penetrate its airspace. Assuming that in a direct confrontation, Iran would face significant challenges against the air defense systems of Israel and its ally, the United States, the next logical step for Iran might be missile strikes. Iran has successfully developed missiles capable of potentially delivering nuclear warheads anywhere in the Middle East and even striking parts of Europe. Iran has also honed cruise and ballistic missiles for conventional warfare. Regarding Iran's ballistic missile arsenal, it primarily consists of short to medium range missiles, though some long range missiles are believed to be under development. Iran boasts of its Khoramshar 4, an upgraded version of the Iranian Khoramshar ballistic missile. This missile was tested in May 2023, achieving a range of 1,242 miles and can carry a warhead weighing 3,307 pounds. With such a range, the Khoramshar 4 can easily target military bases of both Israel and the U.S. in the Middle East. In its armory, Iran also has the hypersonic Fatah missile, claimed to be capable of penetrating Israeli defense systems. Theoretically, the Fatah can strike targets in Israel in less than seven minutes, leaving minimal time for detection and interception. Furthermore, Iran has successfully developed a new cruise missile named Pave. It's claimed that this missile has a range of approximately 1,025 miles, making Israeli or American targets within its striking distance. Iran also possesses the Meshkat missile, reportedly having a range exceeding that of the Pave cruise missile, approximately 1,242 miles, making Israeli targets easily reachable. Given Iran's missile capabilities, it stands as a profound threat to Israel's security. However, it's essential to recognize that Israel boasts a multi-tiered air defense system prepared to counter the threats posed by Iran. 
First on the list is Israel's David Sling, designed to intercept enemy aircraft, drones, tactical ballistic missiles, medium to long-range rockets, and cruise missiles fired from distances of 25 to 186 miles. David Sling was first employed in a combat scenario in 2018. As a result, two ballistic missiles failed to cross the border, landing just 0.62 miles inside Syrian territory. In May 2023, David Sling successfully shot down a rocket launched from the Gaza Strip targeting Tel Aviv. Another missile defense system in Israel's arsenal is the Arrow 3. This anti-ballistic missile can intercept and simultaneously destroy over five ballistic missiles within a brief span of 30 seconds. Furthermore, the Arrow 3 can be launched from a single location without waiting for the exact positioning of the targeted ballistic missile. Israel even asserts that the Arrow 3's success rate in fulfilling its duties stands at an impressive 99%. To counter hypersonic missiles, Israel relies on its air defense system named Sky Sonic, introduced in June 2023. Rafael, Israel's defense technology firm and the system's developer, claims that Skysonic can accurately identify and track threats throughout the entire flight path of hypersonic missiles up to an altitude of 229,659 feet. Regarding drone interception, as previously mentioned, drones flying from Iran would first have to navigate the American defense systems. But if they managed to get through, they would then face Israel's drone dome. The Drone Dome is a modular anti-drone system capable of identifying even the smallest of targets. It issues warnings and operates without interfering with non-target air assets by emitting signal disruptors, severing the drone's connection with its controller. This dome serves as an effective defense tool in heavily trafficked airspace, be it civilian or military, up to a distance of 2.17 miles and functions effectively under all weather conditions.